Well, I'm uh, here looking at a, a very old GRP boat. Uh, it's a little motor boat. Um, it must have been quite nice in its time. And unfortunately, uh, it hasn't been particularly well repainted. And uh, the old timber rubbing strakes on the side here um, are doing the classic thing of loosening up. So uh, where the fastings were, or well, this one here, you know, there's a good chance that the water can get in through the hull and uh, the boatyard have told me on more than one occasion they've had boats like this sink. Um, however, I want to show you what real osmosis is like and uh, os you know, th these are what I call pop of blisters. So I'm just scraping this one off here uh, so you can get a bit of an idea of what's going on. Um, this one is literally that size, okay? Uh, I'm going to use my old dad's hammer, which I'm sure you've seen before, but tapping round it, you can hear this bit there, there's softening up going off over there. But watch this, when I start getting to the middle of it, all of that laminate has gone. It's blown the complete gel coat off. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully open this one up with my uh, spike, fill a knife, so you can get a bit more in the because a lot of people ask me what wicking is, and hopefully we'll have a good... Oh, here we are. Look, look how deep that's gone in the laminate. I mean, we're talking mega mega deep here. There's a good two laminates gone. So that's... Uh, in the old days, it had been in ounces, so that's probably four ounces of cloth gone. But can you see how this uh, laminate, this is the chop strand mat, has just gone completely soggy. And this is why I get so cross when people tell me, oh, a bit of osmosis isn't, isn't a big deal, you know. But there's no strength in any of this. This laminate has no strength where it, it's softened up. So you can now see these, these are the top strands here. Uh, and behind it, we've got a bit of uh, stronger material going on here. So we've actually opened up that blister. But you can hear that it's still soft. So that's even the next layer down has still got moisture. And I'm not going to take any more than that off. But... You know, you can see, I don't know if I can get this one off or not, but this complete bit of laminate is as soft as it goes. And this is why it's so important, so important to understand that moisture and GRP do not go together. It's really important if you've got big blisters to start dealing with them because they just keep going through and through and through the chop strand. Anyway, I hope you find that of a bit of useful information. Um, and... Uh, if you have the time, subscribe to my channel and share it around. Thank you.